Hi, my name is Jessica from the fashion and beauty blog Jeans in a Teacup, and today I'm going to be doing a Cezanne winter try on session, so stay tuned. So, first up, we have the Angie Knit. So, this is a wool blend sweater cardigan because it does button all the way down the front. It's like a mix of kid mohair and wool and some other fibers. Um, so, I don't know if you can see, but it's very fuzzy, which I love. And um, it's got balloon sleeves. I just love all the details of this piece. It's got like this crochet pattern in the front, it buttons all the way up, and then you have like this high neck detail. Um, it's just really beautiful and it's really soft and cozy. It's a little bit itchy, I'm assuming because of the wool, but it, it doesn't feel too bad. I'm actually wearing a nude um, undershirt underneath, um, which helps with the itch, so I would definitely recommend that. And um, yeah, you can wear it buttoned all the way up, which I think is really cute because then you get to see the high neck detail, or you could unbutton it all the way and wear it as a cardigan. Um, so I feel like it, that makes this piece more versatile because you can wear it different ways. And I'm wearing the size small, which is my usual size, and I'll untuck it here in a second. So I think it runs true to size. I could probably size down to an extra small if I wanted to. Um, it would, might make it a little bit tighter around the body, but when I size down I'm always afraid of like the sleeves being a little too short and tight. This is um, perfect on my arm right now, and so I don't feel like I would be an extra small. But yeah, I think it fits perfectly as a size small. Unfortunately, I think white is sold out, um, but I believe they keep bringing it back in other colors. I believe at one point there was a, a light blue, and right now there's like this golden greenish color, which I love. I think that color is beautiful. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting it in that shade. And yeah, I think this is just a really beautiful sweater cardigan, so I highly recommend it. It's just so soft and cozy, so fuzzy. Um, yeah, so that's the Angie jumper. Next we have the Camille cardigan, and this is also a wool blend sweater. Um, I believe it's mohair and wool as well, although it doesn't feel as fuzzy as um, the Angie jumper that I just had on. It still is, it's still got fuzziness to it, but it just doesn't feel like as plush and cozy as the other one. Um, I'm also wearing the size small, but I feel like this one is bigger in the body than the Angie jumper. Um, it, it still has the balloon sleeves like the Angie jumper as well, and yeah, it has, um, a nice like fancy little detail throughout the whole cardigan which is really nice I love this light camel color it also has buttons all the way down and with this one I think there's like a lining behind the buttons okay so behind the buttons there is this lining on it the other jumper did not have that behind the button um, area but um, yeah so you could wear this open as a cardigan or as a sweater like this. I think I'm going to return this though because it just does feel a little big. Um, in the photo, the model, it looked a little bit tighter around the body on her. I don't know if that's just like how they styled it, um, but I kind of wanted a tighter fit because I'd like to like tuck this in and it just seems like there's just maybe a little too much. So I would size down to the extra small on this. Unfortunately, I think a lot of sizes are sold out. Um, I think it might come in other colors as well, but I feel like they're going to bring this knit back or restock it, um, so you can keep your eye out for that. But um, yeah, I'm thinking about exchanging it, although I'm not sure since I already have the one cardigan sweater. But yeah, I do really like the pattern on this, the knit detail, um, the sleeves, and um, how how it looks, but maybe just a little too big. So I think this is going back 
although it still is a lovely sweater. Here we have the James Jumper. So this is a 100% merino wool sweater. Unlike the other two sweaters I just showed you, which were wool blends, this is 100% merino wool. It actually doesn't feel itchy at all to me. Um, the other two sweaters I tried on have a little bit of itch, I think, but this one feels less itchy. So I don't know if that's just me or um, if it's the material. Um, but either way, I think all these sweaters are really comfortable to wear. The itch factor is very low, if at all, which is like why I like Cezanne sweaters, because they just feel really nice on. But anyway, back to this sweater. This is definitely a chunkier knit, um, definitely a bigger size. Um, I'm wearing size small, which is my usual size, but this just is a little bit more roomy. Um, yeah, so I think if you want a tighter fit, you could size down or if you're like in between sizes. If you want this kind of like oversized, chunky look, which is like what the models always wear, then you take your usual size. Um, it's got this lovely cable knit pattern all over it. And then these imitation horn buttons, which is what really drew me to this sweater. I thought these were beautiful because they also are functional and you can unbutton them all the way down. So um, in the photos of the model, they have a button down shirt underneath. And so I liked how it looked with these buttons unbuttoned. You could see more of the shirt underneath. I thought that was a cool detail. So I ordered another Tomboy shirt um, and I should be getting that soon so I'm going to be putting that underneath this sweater. That would also help with the itch factor if you do find that these sweaters are itchy there's definitely enough room to layer something underneath. Right now as I mentioned I'm wearing an undershirt, a nude undershirt so you can't even see um, that I'm wearing something underneath which is great and yeah I think unfortunately this sweater is sold out in all the colors, maybe, I'm not sure, but they do release it in other shades. I think there was a green one and there was also a striped white version, um, but I'm hoping they'll be bringing this one back. I think they restock a lot of these styles because I think they're kind of like essential styles for Cezanne, so I'm hoping that they restock these in all these colors or different colors because um, winter is not over. We'll definitely be wearing sweaters for a while. So keep your eye out for this one. If I wasn't going to get the white one, I did really like the one with the blue stripes. I thought that was like really nice. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this. I'm excited to be showing you a Cezanne coat today. So this is my first experience with their coats. I've been wanting to pick up one of their coats for a while, especially like their classic trench coat, um, but I never got a chance. Luckily Cezanne was so generous to gift me this coat um, to show you what it's like. So yeah, um, this is like a really classic straight cut. Um, coat. It's called the Johnson coat, I believe. It's double-breasted. This is just like a really classic style. Um, and I'm wearing it in gray. And I believe this is 100% wool. There's lots of other colors to choose from, I believe. And I think some are a mix of other fiber, fibers, but this one was 100% wool. Um, and it's just got a lovely, like, pattern, um, fabric detail um, on it, which is what drew me to it. The other ones are more solid. And so yeah, it's got the button here to attach um, the coat and then the double-breasted, the buttons, the double buttons here, which is really lovely. And it's got the V, the deep V collar. So this does go down pretty far. So when it gets cold, I'm going to need to wear a scarf with this. Otherwise it gets a little chillier on my neck. Um, I'm wearing the size four, which is, I believe my usual size in like Cezanne tops. Um, and I think this fits me well because it does have enough room in the body. Um, my only complaint is that the arms are a little bit tighter than maybe I'd want them to be, especially when I'm wearing like chunky sweaters underneath. Um, but I don't think if I sized up to a size six, 
I feel like it would be too big in the body. So I still feel like four is my usual size, but just keep in mind if you have like um, a bulkier chest or larger arms, um, or you like to wear like really thick sweaters underneath, you might want to take your larger size if you're in between sizes. Um, yeah, but overall I think this is a really lovely coat, really classic coat. It goes down to right above my knees and I'm 5'8", so I am a little bit on the taller side. Um, but yeah, I really do like this coat and now that I'm on the East Coast, I will be wearing it a lot because it's cold here. <laughs> So um, keep your eye out on this coat. I think they bring it back every year because it's like one of their staples. And yeah, so that's the Johnson coat. Here we have the Alex dress. So I actually picked this up a while ago, earlier in the fall, and just never got a chance to show it off. But I believe they keep bringing it back in different prints. I think there's a lovely this uh, dress in this lovely brown floral print, which I really love. Um, for fall and winter and even spring. Um, so I think that's in stock right now. I think this print is sold out. But they also had this print in other dress styles and skirt styles, so it might still be available in those styles. Um, but I just wanted to go over the fit of this dress in case you wanted to pick it up in this print. Um, so I'm wearing size four, which I thought was my usual size in like skirts and dresses. Um, but I might be in between sizes now. You can check my measurements below to see um, how they compare with yours. But this is size four and it does feel a little small on me right now. I think um, especially after I hand washed it, this material kind of like shrinks up a little bit. So maybe if I ironed it um, to get some of the natural wrinkles out, it would feel a little bit looser. Um, but it's kind of, it has this sheer layer over top of the lining, which it's attached to. So, and the sleeves are the, the sheer material, um, but then the rest of the body is lined. And it's buttons all the way down the front, so you can unbutton it as high as you want or as low as you want. It has a removable tie, and then it is... Um, cinched in a little bit more at the waist. So it does feel pretty tight around my um, waist area. And when I first got it and I was wearing it and sitting down and moving around, the buttons around my waist kept coming undone. Um, so that's kind of a problem. I don't know if that means that the dress is too small, which it could be, or if the button holes are just a little too big so the small buttons keep kind of coming undone. Um, but that was kind of an annoying thing about this dress. Again, it could just be because I got a size too small and I need a size 6, but um, I don't know. The sleeves are a little bit short on me as well, which again, maybe if I size up to size 6 that wouldn't be a problem. Um, but when I got when I first got it, it felt like it fits so I don't know if it just you know shrunk up a little bit because of the material but it is a really lovely dress for fall and um, winter if you layer it with tights and like high knee boots I think the model is wearing it like that in the photo also I love that it has a removable belt because you can add one of Cezanne's belts to it for a different look so I um, haven't taken the tag off this because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. But let's move on to the fetish belt. I'm not sure how you say it again. Um, this is a thick woven belt made of leather. And this belt comes in many different leather styles. Um, some woven, some solid, and many different colors. And I just really like this thick belt um, woven style because I think it looks really nice over their dresses and since this is a woven material you can you know um, adjust it however tight or loose you want so you don't have to worry about um, holes and you know 
it not fitting exactly right in those holes. So I can like make it even tighter or looser if I want to layer like a sweater over top of this and then tuck it into the belt. So I really liked that, um, you know, I could wear it a lot of different ways, like lower around my waist or high up on my waist and it would be so easy to adjust the size. And this is size 80, which is the smallest size. And I think it works out really well um, because I still have enough, you know, um, material if I want to wear it down here. Well, I wear it a little bit tighter, but yeah. So it still works lower on my waist as well. Um, I don't like too much of the belt hanging out because I think it looks bulky and I don't like to like tuck the thing into the belt. I think it looks just too chunky. So yeah, I think this is a really good belt if you want to wear it over dresses. It is pretty thick though, so I'm not sure if it'll fit through belt loops very easily. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's a really gorgeous leather and I love the way it looks with Cezanne's dresses. And there's lots of colors and styles to choose from as well. All right, next up we have the Alicia skirt. I think that's what it's called. No, the Maria skirt. Sorry. We have the Maria skirt. And I got this in a size 6 because I bought the Maria skirt previously in a size 4. And that felt a little too tight. So I was thinking that I might be a size 6 now in skirts. So I ordered this in a size 6. I also loved this print. And I love seeing this print on other people. I just think it's really pretty. It's a brown floral print, but it also has black details on it, which I really loved as well. Um, so again, this is size 6, but I feel like it might be too big. Um, I'm just wearing it with an undershirt now so you can see the waist, but yeah, I don't know. It just feels kind of big, but there's also a, um, a line right here that feels tighter around my waist, but then this detail right here, this section seems loose. So while it seems like it fits down here along this seam, seam is what I was looking for, um, the top part feels loose. And I like to wear my skirts high, so I feel like it's sitting where it should. But then when I have all this loose fabric, it kind of just looks bulky. Even when I tuck things in, it just kind of like bulges out. Um, so I'm not a fan of the way this skirt fits, unfortunately, because I love how it looked on other people. I love the print. It's just not working for me. And I don't really think I could size down because I think it would be too tight along this seam. Um, so yeah, I am going to return it, unfortunately. I tried to make it work with sweaters and tucking it in. So I'll put on this sweater. So here I tucked the sweater into it and I just feel like it looks bulky around my waist with sweaters tucked in. This, yeah, this section I'm just not a fan of. Um, I tried wearing it with a belt to kind of like cover it up and I think it might look better but I'm still just not a hundred percent thrilled with it. I think there's just like too much bulk and maybe that's just because I have mommy tummy but um, I have the Alicia skirt I believe. Um, that I did in a previous haul. It's the black one, black floral one. And I really liked how that skirt fit. It was a little bit tight because I was wearing size four, but the general overall style, I liked the waistband better. I liked the slit in the skirt. This one does not have a slit. Um, so I thought that style was a lot more flattering. And I think they do bring that style back in other prints and colors throughout the year. Um, but I don't think I'm a fan of this style skirt because of this wide waistband. Um, so yeah, just my thoughts, but I do love this print. So if you can get this print in, um, the dress version or, um, a top version, I think it's really pretty. 
All right, I believe that's it. I hope you enjoyed this Cezanne try-on. If you have any questions about these pieces or any other Cezanne pieces, just ask me in the comments below. You can also find me on my blog, jeansinateacup.com, or on Instagram, at jeansinateacup. So I hope to see you there. Bye.